So good morning, sorry about the delay. A quick reminder that this session is being recorded. Good morning and welcome to our workshop on body and breath work. Thank you again for being here with us today to dive into the work being done across the city to advance equity for students in the school district of Philadelphia and to move us forward toward a space of hope and healing. For this workshop, we have Rhonda Moore from Dancing Classrooms Philly, who will be leading us through self-acceptance and self-care through body and breath work. Rhonda Moore is a choreographer and a curator of Mural Arts Philadelphia's 2010 Random Act of Dance Flash Mob, Almost Good, performed and filmed on site at artist Meg Seligman's Philadelphia Muses Mural at 13th and Locust Streets. Rhonda Moore continues to be interested and involved in communicating, building and making connections by locating an affirming sense of self and place through the body, both in sound and movement. Much of her work centers around exploring space through interdisciplinary collaborations with musicians, visual artists, and wordsmiths, and sharing the processes with intergenerational and diverse communities. She says, if the eyes are the mirror of the soul, the body is the container of all our rich cultural knowledge. Each one of us speaks multitudes. I will now turn it over to Rhonda to get us started. Good morning, everyone, and I appreciate your patience in getting us started. I am I'm looking at faces. Uh, Tremaine, thank you so much for being so present. I know this seems a little counterproductive. Uh, and thank you, Zinlin, uh, for showing your face. I don't want to see them yet. <laughs> so I'm going to ask people to mute, to turn their, I want, you, I want you to unmute and to turn your cameras off. And we're going to just start by listening to everyone's names. So even though I see your names on the screen, I want us to whisper our names into the space. And I want everyone to be able to hear everyone else's name in the space, see how it mixes and mingles, and then see how many names you can pull out from the soundscape that we're creating, okay? And then we're whispering, and then you're going to get a little bit louder. And every now and then, when you feel like shouting it out, shout out your name, okay? Let's begin. Ready? Let's go. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. I need to hear. Unmute. And let's go. Unmute, 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 unmute. I need to hear the voices. Yeah, I want to hear your voices. I don't want to see your faces. I want to hear your voice. Jermaine, take your camera off and put your sound on. You can hear me. It's I can hear you, yes. <laughs> I can hear you now. Okay, thank you. Okay, I see people have unmuted themselves. Let's go, three, two, one. Um, Miss Cindy Stone's coming. I'm going to ask you also if you can, thank you. Let's start this conversation. This way. Yes. Rhonda. And that. Yes. Let me hear it. Tremaine. Yes. Yes. Helen. Right. Cindy. Lynn. Yes. Pamela. Hi. Tremaine. Carmen. Yes. 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 Pamela. Whisper. Whisper. Can everyone slowly just come to a calm silence? Calm, calm silence. And now put your cameras on. Now we have <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Hi, school friends. Hello. Hi, this, is, um, this is my party mask. 
<laughs> because I'm still masking, but I'm also using it because it's my practice for the semester that's starting at Temple tomorrow. Nice. Okay. And I'm enunciating my words as clearly as possible because I know that some of us will still be masking. So, right. and it also is making people pay more attention to what you're doing with your eyes when you're talking to people because people can't see your mouth. So right. how we talk to people with our eyes winds up being very, very important, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna start off with some breathings, okay? I'm gonna be very short with the words. I'm gonna be sitting back here so you can see my whole body. And maybe I'll try to um, pin my video so that um, uh, you'll be able to see me. I'm gonna explain it. Hold on, let me pin my video so I can see the exact way. Okay, so we're gonna do this on four counts, on two counts, on one count, and then we're gonna do four, seven, eight breathing, okay? Let me explain very quickly about breathing, my breathing techniques, which I absolutely love. And sometimes just in the middle of any kind of situation, I might just pull myself apart and do this for 30 seconds, okay? So when you breathe, make sure when you inhale that your stomach puffs out. You're filling your, your body with your container with air. So it shouldn't get thinner, it should, Puff out, really take all the air in. And then when you exhale, I want you to think of getting taller and flatter. So you're gonna have to use your muscular pressure on, the in, on your stomach to press your belly button towards your spine, okay? And you do that by pressing all of the muscles in your stomach, your abdomen. So it's gonna look like this, breathing in and then out. So you actually have a sensation if you're sitting that you're actually getting taller on the chair. You're not squatting as you exhale. You're breathing in, feeling up, getting wider. My feet are placed on the floor on the lungs. And as I exhale, I'm going to think of rising, rising and getting thinner, just like a balloon. Yeah. When you grow the balloon, it gets big. When you let it go, it gets thinner and rises to the top. So there's no infilling, okay? We're gonna do this on slow four counts. Inhaling for four, exhaling and getting taller and thinner for four. Four times on four, then we're gonna do it four times on two counts, and then we're gonna do it on singles. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And then we're going to do something called four, seven, eight breathing, where you inhale for four counts, you hold your breath for seven counts at the top, and then you exhale for eight counts, okay? Really trying. That's going to be a hard one, but we'll get through it. Okay, hold on. I do have music for you. Five, six, eight. Hold on. Here we go. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Exhale. One more time on four. Exhale. So there's something inside your body. Relax. Same thing on two. Okay. Seven. Breathing on two. And breathing one. Exhale. And in. And. And breathe in. Exhale. Last time on two. Exhale. Relax. 
if we're going to do single breath, let's go breathe in out in out. Four more. Breathe yeah. And relax. So that's why our four, seven, eight breaths. We're going to do this maybe twice in a row because it's kind of hard. Breathing in for four, holding for seven counts, and then exhaling on eight. Five, six. Seven, eight, breathe in for four, one. Miss Rhonda, we can't hear you. Exhale. And Let's try one more four seven eight. I know it's not easy. <laughs> Long hold. Here we go. Breathing on four quickly. And one, two, four, and hold. Two. Exhale. Okay, <laughs> so I'm already sweating, <laughs> really, from that 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 kind of exhortation for breathing. But everyone, just take your hands and give yourselves a round of applause, and give yourselves a round of applause the other way, and thank yourselves, thank yourselves for having gotten through that. <laughs> That's right, we're celebrating ourselves today, and you know. I'm going to talk a little bit about breath. I have some documents and I'm not, I'm going to be referring to them briefly in passing. They will drop it into the chat later so that you're able to kind of reflect on what we've done today and see how it fits into uh, our, our subject matter. Very briefly, um, yes, I sustain and agree with Jesus Flora, who is an ethnographer's theories about the body being a container of cultural knowledge. The body being a container of cultural knowledge. And everybody has a body, okay? Everyone has a body, something that we have in common that is unique to each and every one of us, but something that we all share commonly. So just that idea of its diversity and the commonalities that we have in the body. Today we're gonna to be working with small geographic uh, universes of the body. I like to work a lot with my hands because um, I think of my five fingers in my hand. This is all one unit, one entity, but I have five fingers and each one of them are different from the other. And each one of them has different capacities and different abilities. So think of, I'd like to think of this as my front of my body, my back, and my appendages, but they're all different. And I like to suggest that when we think about this small geographic universe that we all share as the same way that we think of our students and our colleagues. Okay, so that everyone is different, everyone's got different abilities, but they all have to somehow combine to make things work. Yeah. So we're going to be doing some stretches and we'll come back to some breathing. Let's do this very quickly. Okay. Always with our breath, we're going to be breathing in. I'm going to be stroking the palm of my hand. On my, my inhalation, I'm going all the way to the middle of my each finger. On my inhalation, I'm breathing in. And on my exhalation, I'm going to use gentle pressure as I continue to have that image of me squeezing the air out. This breathing is not for relaxation. It's for activating, okay? It's not for sleeping. It's for activating. So you want to breathe in, fill up. And as you exhale, you're going to press the stomach in and gently stretch that finger away from the center of the hand, stretch it out and use exert pressure as much as you think you can use here as you exhale. So you're tightening everything and you're stretching this finger out. I'm gonna go through all four, all five fingers of both hands 
but we're going to do one hand and then I'm going to show you the amazing thing that happens when you do this because your fingers are going to grow at least an inch I promise you okay and if you do it every day you'll have nice long slender and supple fingers okay so let's take a nice inhalation and you can use even hand we're going to stroke as we breathe in get to the middle of your finger and then gently stretch it down this way okay breathing in let's inhale and exhale and stretch. Keep exerting the pressure, keep exerting the pressure. And you can stretch your fingers in the other direction if you want to get an extra stretch. And let's move on to the ring finger, breathe in. And exhale and stretch that ring finger back as you exhale, stretch it back. You can challenge yourself with a little extra stretch there. And let's move on to the middle finger. And exhale. Ooh. Good. And now move on to the index finger. Breathe in. And exhale. It's kind of nice to also hear the sound of your inhalation and exhalation, just to connect with that sound too. And I'm really using a lot of pressure. And now your thumb. Breathe in. And stretch the thumb back. Uh, And now just take a few seconds to feel what that hand feels like. Now when you take your both hands, put them together at the wrist and look at the length that you've gathered in the hand that we stretched. I have my hands together. Look at my fingers. They should be slightly longer than the other hand, okay? So imagine if you do this every single day, imagine. Now we, gotta, we have to do the other hand, okay? Breathe in. Exhale and stretch back, stretch. Ooh. What, now we're trying to match length with the other hand that's already been stretched. And breathe in. Exhale and uh, also, you know, our students and teachers and administrators use their hands a lot. The keyboard, writing things. This is one of the tools that we use every single day. It needs to be warmed up. Breathe in. Exhale and stretch it back. Stretch it back. Yes, great. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. And now let's go to our index finger. And the pull back. Oh, I'm pulling my fingers back in the other direction so I can get some extra stretch on that second finger. And now let's go to our thumb. Oh, and stretch that back. Stretch it back. Oh. Stretch it back as far as you can. And let's just take a moment, place our hands together and see if we caught up, see if we were able to catch up. So now your hands should be just a little bit longer than they were your fingers before, okay? And just the feel the feeling of what it feels like to stretch, move your fingers around, okay? Because now we're gonna use them in a big way. And this is gonna be more than anything, pretty funny exercise because you're gonna discover the various abilities of the fingers. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to, you can be seated. I'm sitting down and I'm also holding my elbows as open as possible in this very nice geometric posture. You're gonna find that they're gonna to wanna to sag. I want you to sit up tall, okay? Cause you're gonna engage your stomach there too. Okay, so like, see like, and you're gonna gently, 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 not too close, but connect your hands like this because what we're gonna be doing is rolling the fingers in one direction, and then in the other direction. I'm gonna do that for each digit. And it's going to be a journey, I promise. So, and you're, you're allowed to laugh, you're allowed to laugh, okay? So we're gonna do each finger, rolling in one direction and then reversing the direction. We're gonna go through the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky. And then we'll have check-in. Hold on. Uh, opportunity, okay. <laughs> 
Everyone, hold your fingers up to the camera so we can see each other's working. Okay, you ready? Thumb first. Let's go. Circle F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At an index, two, three, four, six, seven. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Middle finger. Good luck. Two, three. Four, five. Keep those elbows up. Seven. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's get our ring finger. You're trying to isolate just the one finger. Ring finger. And two. And three. Six and seven. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pinky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, hold on. I just looked at the chat. Hold on. Ah. Oh, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. This way, you're. You, I got gotcha. you. So listen. Um, I, I'd like you to unmute yourself and give me some feedback about what that felt like on your fingers. <laughs> I think it was interesting to isolate each finger, you know? <laughs> you don't really think about doing that very often. So. No, you notice though, this, this is the fourth finger is the one that's probably practically tendonless. And so it's the finger that we have the most difficulty moving. Did you find that, your ring finger? Yes. Isn't that interesting that that's the finger that we use for our wedding dance and the finger that has the least amount of mobility. Right. I just put that out there for some reflection and how our pinky finger is this tiny but mighty, tiny but mighty and lots of freedom. Of course, our thumbs are the things that make us prehensile and we're, you know, we, we have these thumbs, which are great. They divide us from animals. But all of those things have their own separate function. So you really have to uh, think about that. Now we're going to do some stroking, okay? But we're going to get our wrists. We're going to do some stroking first. So here, <clears throat> circles. I'm going to try to keep my wrists, my elbows stable. You're going to do a full circle, outside circle. When you get to the top, turn the hand outside again before you go around. Just double turn at the top. A double turn at the top to turn. You're getting full rotation exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm looking at you. So you got to circle down, out, up. Before you go down, again, you got to turn the hand out again. Exactly, okay? Sometimes I hold my wrist to make myself do it, okay? Yes. You have to have some resistance. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And we'll do this to me. We're going to do it this way. And then we're going to do it in the other direction, which is inside, down, out, up. And now you got to turn the hand in before you go down again. Full double turn at the top, full double turn at the top, and then down again. Yeah, you're going to feel this in your entire arm, <laughs> clearly. Yeah? So we'll do one hand one way, and then we'll do the other hand. We'll do one hand one way, and then the opposite direction, and then we'll switch hands. And then we're going to do the same thing with our fingers open and um, fronding like the fronds of a palm tree. So look at that. Press out. I want to see the metatarsal of your hand. That's like the ball of your foot that presses and the fingers flare backwards. So I don't want this. I want this, that. And individual fingers. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. And then the opposite. Five, four, three, two, one. Up, out, and flare. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Look at your hand, see it? And okay, yeah. And we'll do the other side too. And then let me move forward. And here's our last stroking pattern. I'm going to stroke out, touch the palm of my hand, stroke all the way up along the entire base of the finger, stretch out. Stroke up all the way and uncurl the fingers. Press out. Go down. Touch your palm and touch the entire palm until you unfold the fingers. And then the reverse of that is 
going down the fingers, all the way down the wrist and flaring out. Going down, out and flaring up. Down, out and flaring up, okay? Then we're gonna transfer that small body geography. So what does that feel like to be stroking with the upper body? The first one is like this. So look how we're going to then transfer that to this. Palm of the hand, unfold the body. Palm of the hand, unfold the body. The opposite of that, curl down and stretch up and out. Curl down, stretch up and out. So we're actually mirroring the same shapes that we're making with our hand. Yeah? Okay, hold on. Go. Wrist. Five and six, and here we go. Circle out, up. Circle out, up. Three and four and five. Six, seven, and eight. Change the direction, down, out, and up, turn it around, down, up, out, and turn it around, three, and four times, and five times, and six times, and seven times, get, get the wrist, get the wrist, not the arm, new hand, circle, out, up, and around, Isolate the wrist at three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Reverse it down, out and up, around, down, up, turn around, three, turn around, four, turn around, five and six. And full hands. And seven. And other hand stretch it out and stretch and pull. This is really stroking as if you were painting the room with your fingers. Six and seven and eight. Reverse it and a down, out, up and around, and up and around. Down, up and around, down, up and around, five and six and seven and eight. Stroking both hands down, up, out, up, wrist, up, really stretch out, five. Yeah, but reverse it down, stroke down, up. Down, wrist, stroke your fingers down, out up. Yeah, da, 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 yeah. Now frame your face. Look, and two, and three, and four. Really frame your face. Five, six, seven, reverse it, and down, out up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah? Finish. Is everyone <laughs> that was good interesting yeah you can even write it in the chat if you don't want to speak but um it's um it's invigorating and it's kind of um 
the twist. What things into play that you never think about? My hands feel totally like now I could just, I don't know what, you know. Yeah. So very small movement. Yeah, yeah my forearms are burning. <laughs> I agree, this whole thing, but you know, just think what 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 svelte bodies we will have. Because this is really about like how to use tension in positive ways. You know, without tension, you wouldn't be standing. We'd just be flops on the floor. So we need tension in our lives, the right kind of tension and the right juxtapositioning of tension, okay? Now I'm gonna I go praise back. dance at church, so that helps a lot. Tell me again. I praise dance at church, so that helps a lot. Yes, oh my gosh, and the hands and, tra and praise dance are so important. They're such symbols of so many different things, you know? So we're gonna play with our hands a little more, but we're gonna switch this into our bodies first, okay? Yeah. So now yes. everyone's got a name. I yeah. said, I'm just gonna check the time. Oh God, 1047. I'm terrible. Okay. This is a name game. Yeah, I agree. It really frees up your hands. Just, oh gosh. So now, this is my suggestion for the name game. I like to call it the name game. Not with our mouths or anything. The first thing you're going to do is spell your name. You can write the letters on top of each other. Okay, let's just do your hands. Take your hands. You can write in block letters. You can write in cursive, whatever. Write your letters, not out like that. Write on top of each other. I'm using capitals R H O N D A. That's already a dance in itself. That's it's my name. Everyone has a name. So everyone, let's just write our names together into the space, okay? I'm going to, you can use one hand, use two hands. Set your hands out and write your name out in the space. Be thoughtful because now you're making the shape of the letter, right? And now I'm going to do my cursive because it's a whole different quality of movement with my cursive writing. A little more fancy schmancy, you know? Or I can even take little, little block letters and get it done. I can do it just with my fingers. You know, it looks like you're kind of signing, but here you are. Your intentions are to make those letters. So you've got to have your mind connected to the activity, what's happening physically in your body, okay? And when you think about some of the um, body language that we use, especially in the African-American community, about, you know, talking to people and gesturing and letting people know what you think about, you think about how you can even use these things to maybe say the things that you would better left unsaid, Verbally, you can certainly write them out if you want to, <laughs> you know, but then you release, you hurt no one's feelings, and it's kind of like your, but your, your private contextual secret language, okay? So now let's just take this, and um, I want you to write your name with your head now. I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, name writing, okay? Yeah. How about with your shoulders? I'm gonna do mine in script, with your shoulders. Yeah? And how about with your ribs? Check it out. Yeah. And then if we get into a larger space, and I'm gonna have to let you go in a few minutes, but if we get into a larger space, you can even use these clues. Ribs is different. <laughs> ribs is different. Side view of the ribs. Um, I can I was really this time make my letters as if I was in one of the blackboard here. So here's my R, here's my H, here's my O, here's my N. I'm doing all capital with my A. Yeah. And then you can do the same thing in the space, taking up space in the room. Everyone, as we leave, and we started with our names whispered into the space, can you stand or sit, whatever is comfortable for you? And let's fill up the space with our names. Any place you want to in the room, paint the wall with the letters. Of your name, see what that feels like in the space. Just get up and 
move around and let's just paint for a couple of minutes. Okay, hold on, give me some music. I will. Mm -hmm. I ask myself. Wow, okay, hold on. You can tell by now I have a penchant for music of the 70s. <laughs> okay, let's start. Anywhere you want to start. You can even think about walking the pattern of your name with your leg. So here's my R. And then my H. I'm going to paint a little bit. I'm going to shrink it as big as I can. Hey. Hey. Yeah. And then we'll come a little bit, stretch it out some more. One final signature. And after we come up close to the camera, can we come close to the screen? Come close to the screen. I'm going to unpin my video. And let's put our cameras on and just sign ourselves out. I want to look at people and see if I can connect. Think of the music that you're playing, how that's going to play in. It's going to make you feel a little different. Make it as small as possible. Pinpoint someone. When you see me again, I hope that you will be then the kind of person that you really are now to steal Sly's lyrics. <laughs> Rhonda, this has been so helpful because I'm just registered for sign language. And it really, really was helpful because I, I feel places that I, I you know, my my fingers, my body, everything. I, I do this exercise so even on my, my eyes. So I want to spell your name with your eyes. I mean, you know, because it gets you inside of your head. You have to have the intentionality. That's how you connect, you know, your thoughts to what you're doing physically and, and hopefully avoid certain things and go towards the right kinds of things because you're just more cognizant of everything. Okay, people, I gotta let you go. There's everything, they're gonna drop it in the chat because there's some very interesting information about advancing classrooms and about, um, about Laban, because some of the things that I'm working on are Laban efforts. And so that's about how to describe movement and sound, tap, flick, thrust, all of these different things that are different ways of moving and different ways of sounding. If I tap my name, it would be fucked up. If I thrust it by name, it would be run up. If I floated my name, it would be like this. If I glided my name, it would be Rhonda. If I slashed my name, it would be Rhonda. If I flicked my name, it would be Rhonda. So there's all these different ways of, of hearing and seeing movement and sound. That gets into your kids' vocabulary. Give them new words to describe the sensations. What does that feel like in your body? Oh, smooth was smooth. Give me some other words. Soothing, gliding. Oh, this one makes me hype. Give me some other words. Hype. Um, excited. Yes. Invigorated. Yes. You know, and we, thought, we, we use the same words all the time. We use the same thing as we have every day. Be good to them. Find new words in new ways. 
Thank you so much for spending time with me. I really appreciate all of you. I really do. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank I you. enjoyed Thank it. You. <laughs> I hope the rest of the survey. <laughs> Don't forget to fill out the survey. The Office of Diversity and Equity and Inclusion okay. um, Equity Co Coalition is hosting a monthly series of events called Equity in Practice. I'm dropping a flyer for these events as well. So I'm sorry, I'm dropping a lot of flyers at the end just to make sure you guys have enough information. Um, and see. All right, so I dropped three different things. Um, and everyone, please have a, a safe rest of your day. Thank you, Ms. Rhonda.